have an update for you now on the nation's deadliest single incident in the war uh, in Afghanistan. Allied commanders say they have killed the insurgents who fired what is believed to be a rocket-propelled grenade that uh, took down that Chinook helicopter Saturday morning in Afghanistan. 30 U.S. troops were killed in last week's crash, including a, uh, including a number of Navy SEALs. But the number of SEALs uh, killed, that is changing. I want to bring in Barbara Starr at the Pentagon. Uh, and Barbara, we had initially thought there were 20 SEALs on board. How is that changing? Well, Brooke, actually, for some days now since this happened, uh, the U.S. military has indicated 22 Navy SEALs on board that helicopter. What we now know is there were 17 SEALs, five uh, sailors, Navy personnel who had more conventional jobs but were working with the SEALs at that time, things like dog handlers, c communication specialists. Uh, members of one of America's most elite fighting units were among those killed when that giant Chinook helicopter went down. A military inquiry may look at just what the Navy SEALs and the other U.S. troops on board were doing there and why. Our Pentagon correspondent Barbara Starr is digging into this part of the story for us. So what are you learning, Barbara? Well, Wolf, what we have learned today is those Navy SEALs were not on a rescue mission as we were first led to believe. The 22 Navy SEAL commandos killed when their helicopter was shot down by the Taliban weren't on one of their usual secret assault missions. Military sources confirmed the SEALs were called in to chase down a group of Taliban on the run. Army Rangers already on the ground were looking for a Taliban leader when some insurgents started to escape. The Rangers didn't need rescuing, they just called for backup. That's contrary to what some military sources said just after the crash when they suggested the SEALs were helping pin down troops. It's all raising questions why so many SEALs were on a single vulnerable helicopter. They ended up exposing the entire force, unfortunately, to enemy fire. And uh, all it takes is one lucky shot. And that one lucky shot from a Taliban perspective was uh, what happened. Investigators will also look at whether troops other than the SEALs could have been sent. Then along came the well-intentioned but somewhat misdirected Let's Move campaign, led by our own First Lady Michelle Obama. What I mean by misdirected is that rather than educating and encouraging our nation to create healthy practices for all children, focusing on the health of all our children, children of higher body weight have been singled out and the focus of the campaign is on weight reduction and not on improving children's health. Well, how are they marginalized? Studies indicate that children of higher body weight are 65% more likely to be bullied than children of lower body weight. When our First Lady said that we have to wipe out childhood obesity in one generation, she essentially gave permission to everyone to condemn the children with higher body weights. How this translates in real life is that these children experience more ridicule, more teasing, more bullying, and the perpetrators feel justified in their actions because after all, the First Lady said these kids have to go. When children of higher body weight hear we have to wipe out childhood obesity in one generation. For them, those words translate to, we have to eliminate obese children. They hear, your body is bad. They hear, thin equals good, fat equals bad. They hear, your body is bad. I believe that it was not the intention of the First Lady to cause more pain and suffering for these children, but I also believe that this is one of the consequences of focusing on reducing body size as opposed to improving health. Other consequences include poor body image, body dissatisfaction, low self-esteem, bullying, disordered eating, depression, lower expectations for future success, and 
sometimes even suicide. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Thursday, August 11th, 2011, and I'm Darko. This is part three, the final bulletin for today, everyone. Uh, please check out my website, ggnonline.com. That's www.ggnonline.com. And then uh, you can check me on YouTube at ddarko2012 or Global Government News. I have my own group on there, so check it out. Uh, you can join there. Uh, otherwise, all the links, if not most, will be posted in the video's description on YouTube. Uh, all right, so we're going to uh, just kind of uh, start off here with um, the whole SEAL team uh, story going on. Uh, some things just don't really click, the whole story. Sony hosted Obama fundraiser releasing Bin Laden movie before election. So it says that uh, moviegoers will be seeing the story of Osama Bin Laden uh, raid just before they vote for president. Uh, so go in there and check that out. Uh, so they're making a movie off something that may not even have happened. Um, maybe not as we know it. Maybe uh, SEALs were over there. Maybe they did kill some people, but maybe they didn't kill uh, bin Laden. Maybe bin Laden's been dead for seven years. Or maybe be, they did go over there and kill them. Or maybe uh, he was just a CIA asset who was tucked away, and they finally got rid of him to tie up loose ends. I don't know. But it's not the story that we're told. 9-11 was an inside job. Uh, uh, bin Laden was, uh, had, did have connections with the Bush family. Uh, Israel is tied to 9-11. So, and uh, all of the stuff that happened after that, whether it was going to Iraq, a weapon, WMDs, um, Al-Qaeda, it was all based off uh, nothing, off lies. So U.S. F-16 pounds Afghanistan copter shooters. So there you go. United States claims a U.S. strike has thrashed Afghan attackers suspected of shooting down American Chinook. So they actually located. It took them this long to catch Bin Laden, yet all of a sudden they've killed the guy, the the, the, the couple guys that shot down this uh, helicopter that killed um uh, these SEALs that were on a humanitarian mission, no, they weren't. They were on an operation, and no, it wasn't uh, 22 people, it was 17, and uh, that's right, and Bin Laden's body's floating in the, in, the, in the ocean somewhere after they killed him, so it's all a bunch of bullshit, like usual. Uh, RIC airport protester federal officials present arguments in lawsuit authorities involved in arrest of a protester removed his shirt and pants at a security checkpoint at Richmond International Airport were doing their jobs and acted appropriately, a government attorney argued Wednesday, so this is the same old crap -o that you hear, they were acting appropriately, so... And uh, it says here that uh, Carlota Wells, uh, an attorney for the U.S. Department of Justice, argued in favor of a motion to dismiss Aaron Toby's lawsuit, which claims his constitutional rights were violated. It says Wells said Toby uh, had made his point by removing his shirt to display words of the Fourth Amendment or words from the Fourth Amendment written on his torso, but went too far when he disobeyed a command to pass through uh, a security scanner in order to be radiated. So uh, go in there and check that out. But, was, but the lawyer said that 20 of one year old Charlottesville man obeyed the command so he did probably he did get radiated and it said that it was authorities who went too far by detaining Toby for 90 minutes or longer with his hands cuffed behind his back so it's pretty crazy because it said Toby eventually was allowed to continue his flights to attend a family funeral so maybe he doesn't ever want to fly and then he kind of was forced into flying because well he had to go to a funeral and so he did what he did and uh, I salute him because I'm not flying. I don't plan on flying, but if I do, I'll probably end up doing something like that. U.S. military, I'll start molesting the agents, TSA agents. I'll get butt naked, whatever 
whatever we need to do as stupid and irrational as possible because that's what they're telling you to be. They're telling you to be irrational and irresponsible uh, when you uh, uh, surrender uh, your privacy in order uh, to protect your fellow sheeple against this phony, elusive uh, terrorist known as the U.S. government and the international governments um, all uh, attacking themselves. Uh, uh, they are the terrorists, and they create and fund terrorists, and they do this in order uh, to clamp down on people that don't want to be radiated and um, don't want to be molested uh, in order to travel freely, which is our inherent right. And um, people should fight back against that. U.S. military to launch fastest ever plane unmanned Falcon hypersonic technology vehicle 2 can travel from London to Sydney in less than an hour or so. Goes on there and says, ooh, look at that thing. Yeah, see, it's going to help protect you. That's going to help protect you from big, bag countries. No, all the countries are corporations. They're all one big corporation. And they're working to enslave you and then to go on to other planets and explore to enslave them too. That's how it works. And if you're against that, like Mr. Kaku, the physicist, said, you are a terrorist. Look at that video when he says that. It'll send the hair on the back of your neck standing up. He says, you are the terrorist if you are a traditionalist and you don't like this brave new world, right? Uh, says here that uh, U.S. military's top secret X-37B shuttle disappears for two weeks. Uh, and so look at this. Their secret spy plane uh, uh, went missing and in contact loss with hypersonic glider after launch. So an unmanned... Uh, glider, uh, of course, this is all what, uh, DARPA and all that, uh, the same thing that brought you Facebook and all that, and uh, the internet, and so, uh, yeah, so they uh, lost contact, right, what a bunch of more bullshit, China launches first aircraft carrier on maiden sea trials, so it sounds nice and friendly, U.S. asked China to explain why it needs an aircraft carrier, so they want to know why, well, U.S., why do you have fucking the biggest uh, stockpile of uh, weapons and and uh, aircraft carriers and, and, and uh, the, all these uh, supersonic planes. Why do you have the United States? You're not doing anything to help people. You're going over and killing people in the name of saving them and calling it humanitarian. Helicopter fleet conducts landing maneuvers on the coast of East China Sea, and Google admits handing over European user data to U.S. intelligence agencies. That's right, one big uh, intelligence hub. There is no uh, national intelligence agency anymore like MI6 or CIA. They're all one. DHS proposes a secret watch list database. Privacy groups protest. Department of Homeland Security is planning to duplicate the FBI's terrorist screening database to expand an extensive database called Watch List Service, and no one can know if they're on the list. So just par for the course, like the no-fly list. Don't even know if you're on it till you go and they say, hey, you're on a no-fly list. <laughs> says here, uh, Indiana's new spy agency spooked by internal spies. And it says here that uh, alarm bells are ringing India's youngest spy agency. It says as many vital targets in Pakistan and China under its electronic surveillance have started disappearing from its radar. So check that out. Iran, Israel ranks first in cyber terror. Uh, that's right. They created the Stuxnet virus and uh, try to hatch it in Iran as well. Uh, Oath Keepers, FBI wants surplus stores to spy on customers. FBI handout list purchases of preparedness items as potential indicators of terrorist activities. That's right. Maybe a Ron Paul supporter or a returning veteran or gun owner, you're on a list too. So get used to it. This is freedom, guys. This is fucking freedom, right? U.S. federal judge denies appeal to return streaming domain. So U.S. federal judge is giving a seal of approval to uh, the summary seizure of foreign websites. And it says local ice cream makers face shutdown by state. And it says she's been laid off for a job in Chicago. She tried uh, making this nice uh, whole food natural ice cream. And guess what? Uh, she was shut down uh, because she didn't have a dairy license, right? And it's kind of like these home nurses or uh, daycare centers, uh, pe you know, that uh, do it out of their house. And oh, uh, you know, something happens like a child that uh, wanders into their uh, into their uh, yard and and drowns in a pool. Well, now, oh, see, that could have been avoided because the person didn't have. A license. See, if she would have had a license and paid off the state, because the state's a mafia and you know it's a shakedown, you got to pay off the state to do business. That's the way it works. Because it's not a free economy. Well, then you could have avoided it. No, more bullshit. You're not going to avoid it by a piece of having a piece of paper and paying off thugs. HIV expert kept women as a slave. Zimbabwe women rapist uh, terrorized men. That's right. Mandatory sex ed returning to New York public schools. Marvel Comics reveal uh, the new Spider-Man. He's black and he's gay. American Apparel CEO launches a teenager's Do It Better t-shirt, so check that out. Sesame Street and same-sex marriage, so how about uh, Bert and Ernie, the uh, ones that I grew up with, maybe they should get married. Maternal blood tests can tell if parents' fetuses sex after seven weeks. 
Sweden voted to uh, sterilize those who choose to undergo a sex change. The Japanese make food out of crap, and then Texas plant will turn sewage into drinking water. Yum. Kemp Water, North Texas City, turns off their water, and the biggest solar flare in years. This is GGN. I'm Darko. Thank you.